Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Take a look at the problem when you try to install an application and a window pops up that says this app has been blocked for your protection. It probably looks like you saw in the screenshot there, obviously, but here is our example app. And as you can see, a lot of people say just disable user account control. As you can see, I've already done that, so I'm not going to waste your time with that. It doesn't work. Another possibility is some people say to go into PowerShell, Win X PowerShell, and you can attempt to run it if you know the path to the file. Didn't work for me either. What did work for me is editing the registry and let me take you through that. I do have registry files as well, and it's a lot easier, so I can get you out of here quick. I'll pop a link up here at right around the one minute mark with a direct link to download from the video. So I have the files here. You have disable and you have enable. So let's double click disable. Once you've downloaded them, you want to extract them, of course. Click yes, click OK, and you can see it's being told that you must restart your computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, you can edit the registry, and I will show you that when we come back up, if you'd like to do it that way, because it's pretty easy, but you can't beat the speed and the efficiency of the registry files. It's really quick this way, as you just saw. You're going to have to reboot no matter what you do. So why not just double click reboot instead of digging through the registry? Cool. So now here's another thing to remember while we're rebooting. When you're done, make sure you double click the enable. Put it back on. At the end of the day, that error message for how often you see it, which I would assume most people don't see it too often, is not such a bad thing. You really want that Windows protection built in there. So come on, Windows. Got things to do, places to go. All right, here we go. So now we'll show you the app that was previously blocked will no longer be blocked. There you go. So now I'm going to do, as I mentioned, is double click enable so that it's back on. And again, be sure you reboot. Piece of cake, right? Let's show you the registry real quick. Give it a second to boot up here. All right, so once again in the tutorial, and it will be linked to in the video as well, and it should be popping up here somewhere along the line. There's your download link. Here is the registry key. So do your Windows key plus R and do regedit and control V to paste this code right here in bold to jump right to where you want to be and you're looking for enable LUA you might have to move this over a little bit to see it it will double click it you should be a one when you start you change it to a zero remember I clicked that registry file so it changed it to one already it's waiting for a reboot now when I change it to zero I'll have to reboot now there's not going to be any prompt telling you to reboot your computer when you do it through the registry yourself but it's easy enough to do as you can see one Change it to zero, it's disabled. All right, did I do that right? Yep, value data is zero. There you go, so your value data is zero. You can reboot, install your app, start the registry up, change that value data back to one, and reboot again and you're all set. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo appears right around here, and you can click on that, and click on subscribe. If we helped you out, we'd appreciate that, or a like or two. Thanks for watching as always, see ya.